hello friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is Kithia and I own a small jewelry business and in this channel I show you how I make the jewelry that I sell and any other jewelry that I come across or you send in like any requests so yeah I think today you are in for a treat because when I posted this bracelet on my Instagram I had so many messages for you lovely 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 people honestly you are amazing asking me for a tutorial and I have never had that before and to be honest I absolutely love the bracelet as well which is this one I have not taken it off since I made it and I love it so much I actually made a necklace as well so I have been wearing it. I even went for a jog today and I wore it and I never do like, cause it's like not for workouts or whatever. But how gorgeous it is. Like, look at the little leaves. I actually had somebody, a um, couple of you subscribers asking me to make one uh, like a bracelet with the leaves. I'm not sure if this is what you was after, but I just love it. It looks so pretty. Again, the light is not the best one, but we work with what we have. But yeah, when in the sun, I will put a picture in how it looks when like in the sun, like a really, really nice light. It just looks so pretty. So, so pretty. Yeah, so I'm just going to run through everything that I'm going to use. As you know, everything that I use, I will link in the description box. If something is sold out, just leave a comment and I will try and find something similar. But I will put like the sizes and everything. So if anything, you can do a search because everything that I buy, I buy it to be delivered in the UK. I don't know how it works in different countries. I don't know the prices for the delivery. I'm just giving you the sizes and the links to see how it looks and all the information and everything. And then, yeah, you can just find the best place where to purchase yourself because the majority of the things that I buy there are from either Amazon or Etsy. Everything that you need is going to be linked in the description box and if I have missed anything just let me know. Also before we start if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Some of you have asked me how they can support this channel. Honestly, at this point, watching my videos, <laughs> liking and sharing them is the best thing you can do for me, not just as a person, as a business and um, a small creator. If you enjoyed, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you do have any ideas that you want me to try and make, let me know in the comment section as well, or you can message me on Instagram. I'm really quick to answer. I usually take less than one day to respond to messages. So yeah, join the family, let's say. Is it raspberry family? I don't know. Does it sound all right? No. Anyways, I just wanted to say like I have met, not met, but I have spoken to so many lovely people. You are like, honestly, you can't imagine how much it means to me. The messages, the comments, the everything, you are amazing i have i think i've said you're amazing way too many times <laughs> but um i mean it and i could never stop saying it um so yeah let's get started so the things that i'm gonna use are miyuki beads and pearls so i got two smaller size miyuki beads these ones are 11 slash zero there's like the white ones and green ones for the leaves and then I have bigger size, which is eight slash zero. And I have these transparent ones and like the pearl white ones. And then I have some uh, fresh black water pearls. You can see there's like different sizes. It's just cause I mixed my pearls by accident, but the sizes are from like two millimeter to four millimeter. Then I have some closures. These ones are very, very basic ones that I use for the videos. They are not sterling so stainless steel or anything they're just something to use to close the bracelets that I make for the tutorials and they were quite quite cheap as well actually on Amazon I got them on Amazon yeah beads I got from Etsy then I have scissors I have some fishing line I work with this fishing line majority of the time unless I work with the wire I will be working with this fishing line so I have got this roll 
for I don't I said in my last video I think about six months but I think at this point I would say it's like seven or eight months and it's still going and it's not just for these videos on youtube i do make my orders for the business as well from this one so i have made like hundreds of bracelets and there's still plenty left and um yeah the size is 0 0.32 millimeter and then obviously i have a mat this is very very important to me because i tend to just smash the little trays and the bees go flying everywhere but if you have the mat it's not gonna happen well they might go some a little bit but it's not gonna be as bad as with, without the mat also i forgot to mention i actually do need to use pliers as well for this one so i'm just gonna use two pliers which are these basic ones just so i can put the closures on in here there is no particular order you know as you can see here i have the leaf i have the flower i have these beads here then a leaf different color of flower pearl leaf is just so random like it doesn't have any sort of like repetition sort of way and i'm just the same with the necklace i'm just randomly just putting the beads and everything i'm not really doing it in a particular order so i'm just going to show you the different parts that you can make so for example like the daisy if you you're not new to this channel you will know how to make the daisy then obviously how to make the leaf and um that sort of thing again you don't have to use these particular materials you can use any materials at home you have experiment Honestly, you don't have to like go out and buy. So yeah, these are the colors and sizes and everything that I'm gonna work with. Yeah, I just wanna show you how to do it and then you can you you can just work with the materials that you have. The first thing we're gonna start with is taking the fishing line and I'm gonna take about 80 centimeters. But again, it just depends. I always say it depends how big you want the bracelet to be my bracelets are usually about 16 centimeters um because that's just how it fits my wrist but everybody has a different wrist okay so i cut the fishing line i folded it over and then i will take the closure what i'm gonna need i use two Two of these, I think they are called fold over crimp pens. Then I'm taking two jump rings and then I'm taking one lobster claw. Okay, the fishing line is folded over. We take this part and we put the cream cover like this I sort of like wrap it around and then I just fold down the sides like so and then I take one of the jump rings just open it up put it on here and then take lobster claw, put it on. Oops. And then close it. Really quick and easy. And that's our closure. One side is done. And now we're going to start beading. So the first thing I am going to start with taking one of the bigger beads and just putting each side of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead like an X and just drag it down or pull it down whichever I don't know <laughs> don't don't quote me on my sayings because I'm just saying what comes to my mind and the best way I can explain things so this is where we are now and then we take 
two beads and put on one side of the fishing line and two beads on the other side of the fishing line like so and you let them just go down and then I take one of the transparent beads and just pull both ends of the fishing line through the bead and now it just drags down and this is how it looks And now you just take these two ends and sort of like fold them over like so and then you take one end of the fishing line put it through two beads on one side then you take the other end of the fishing line and put through the other two beads on the other side like so and then you just put the ends and it just comes together nicely and now i take another one of the white beads and put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead and just drag it down and this is how it looks well, first daisy is done okay now i'm going to show you how to make the leaf so um so what you need to do you just decide which side you're going to put it on i i did like one on one side one on another side because if you put them all on one side the bracelet is just going to start like folding weird ways so that's what i did so I'm going to start with this side, but again, it doesn't matter which one you pick. And I put seven beads. I use these green ones for the leaves and I put seven beads on like so. And just drag it down. And this is how it looks now. And now I take the same end of the fishing line and put it through the first bead here the first green one so i move all these six beads away and i take one green one and i put the fishing line through like so and now i just pull the end like this And that's your first leaf done don't mind that it's like a little messy here it will it will tighten up in a second and now i take both the ends of the fishing line and then take another green bead and put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead like so and then just drag it down and now we just like pull it until it all comes together nicely. And this is the first leaf done. So cute. And now you can, let's do another daisy. And I'm gonna do with that transparent bead. So take one bead, put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead, like so. Just drag it down. And now you take two beads for one side of the fishing line. and two beads for the other side of the fishing line. And now I take one white bead, because that's gonna be my middle bead, and then put both ends of the fishing line through the middle bead. And this is how it looks now. And now we fold this end over, take one end of the fishing line, 
put through two beads on one side and then take the other side of the fishing line and put through two beads on the other side and just pull it and now I take another transparent bead put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead and just drag it down and this is how far we are now now let's do i don't know this bit where i randomly just stack beads on <laughs> again you don't you don't need to use that um in your bracelet you can just like make this all around you can just experiment and the way i do it is just take two smaller beads put one on one end one and another then take another bead and put both ends of the fishing line through like so then let's take and do it again so one bead on one end of the fishing line one bead on the other end of the fishing line and then pull both ends of the fishing line through another bead and now when you pull it down you just sort of create some a design let's say actually let's take this last bead off i don't like how it looks that's better don't know why but i didn't like it so this is how it looks now and now i'm just gonna pull i'm gonna create another leaf but this time i'm gonna put it on the right side so i'm taking the right side fishing line and i'm taking seven beads again let them drop down and then we move six beads away and just work with the last bead and put the fishing line through the bead and just pull it this is how it looks now and now i'm taking another green bead and just put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead and just drag it down And here you just need to pull, pull the fishing line both sides of it just so it straightens it out like so and now i'm gonna do another white daisy so i'm taking one white bead put through each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead drag it down Take two beads for one side of the fishing line and two beads on the other side of the fishing line. Take one transparent bead and put both ends of the fishing line through the bead. Drag it down like so. Fold it over one end of the fishing line through one side of the bead another end the other end of the fishing line through opposite side of the be two beads and just pull the ends it's coming together nicely isn't it and now we take two one bead and pull each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead there you go and now the last thing that we need to do is put the pearl on so what we do 
we just pull both ends of the fishing line together and then just take one pearl and put it both ends of the fishing line through the pearl like so and then I don't know what you want to do next I'm gonna pull another daisy so I'm taking this transparent bead and just making another daisy And then here you just need to make sure that like the fishing line is the same length so when you for example if it's not you can sort of like go a little bit sideways let me show you how if it works yeah like for example like this you don't want that because it's just not gonna look nice so what you need to do is just sort of like move the fishing line and just try and get it in the middle as much as you possibly can like so you can see and then you can drag the other bead down and the pearl is just going to stay where it is and that's how you're going to make the bracelet to go straight if you can have a look on my necklace it's not very like straight some places because I got lazy, but I still love it and I still wear it. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is it. Like I literally have showed you every step and now that I have in this bracelet and the only thing now you need to do is just finish the bracelet and um, just decide like what you want to do next, where you're going to put the leaves. But yeah, this is it. It's so easy and it looks harder than it actually is. I'm just gonna finish the whole bracelet and then show you the final result. If you like to stay till the end, I would very much appreciate so. And yeah, I will see you in a minute. as you can see I got lazy here and he went like a bit sideways but I think it's gonna be okay once I put it on my hand so that's the final result that's what I just made cute super super cute I hope you got on really well as well very nice I will just 
leave it on the screen for a bit. Um, just got a book so I can like put it on nicely and maybe, you know, you want to take a screenshot or something if you want to make exactly the same as I have done. This is, oh, this is it. What I need to do now is just put the closure on. So I will do that now. And then it's going to be done. I don't even know how long it took me, but it doesn't matter because I love beading. I hope you love it too. Anyways, while I do this, again, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Do upload videos every Sunday. If you want to join this channel, I will be very, very happy. You're going to make me very, very happy if you join us. I mean, us. It's me doing it. So when I say us, it's actually me. Um, but yeah, well, I mean us. There's, what, five, almost 6,000 of you that have joined me. So thank you very much for, for watching my videos. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. So yeah, again, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to make anything else in the future, please let me know in the comment section. And I will see you next week. Bye.